Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. I'm so glad that you're here. This is Tuesday of Ordinary Time, proper eight in the church calendar, marking time with the story of the Lord. Our vision here at Morning Prayer is that five days a week, there would be a place you could go to experience the presence of the Lord, to set aside time that is holy, to provide that environment, that atmosphere. Thank you for joining with us in supporting that vision. A new way to do that is to make a monthly contribution of any amount. You will get an ad-free version of the podcast inwardmusic.com slash donate thank you you give me hope you give me peace give me joy give me release from all my chains you showed a way I couldn't see you put your spirit inside me I can't explain I am grateful You are faithful To us My heart was hard on display, full of excuses turned away, but you were near, if I'm confused, if I'm deceived, if I'm afraid or can't believe, you're still here, I am grateful. faithful to us. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone, by what we have said and by what we have left unsaid. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Every word Changes everything The joys, the hurts So much more Than I deserve I am you, Lord, that you are faithful to us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. You are always here, even when we don't feel you, even when those around say you are dead. You are here. 
you are near. Show us, God, your presence. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Psalm 122 I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity with itself to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For there are thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and quietness within your towers. For my brethren and companions' sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. Psalm 123 To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God until he show us his mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Too much of the scorn of the indolent rich and of the derision of the proud. Our eyes look to you, Lord, do you show, do you show, Till you show us your mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now Gospel reading on this Tuesday of Ordinary Time, proper 8, is Matthew 21, 23 through 32. When Jesus entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things, and who gave you this authority? And Jesus said to them, I will also ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? And they argued with one another, If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd, for all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second and said the same. And he answered, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said the first. And Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness 
and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him, and even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. The word of the Lord Thanks be to God, thanks be to God, Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. is Tuesday of Ordinary Time, proper eight in the church calendar, marking time with God's story. Our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively that's been prayed for thousands of years. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in the unity of spirit by their teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I am Take a few moments and just have a time of free prayer. You can pray specifically and by name for those in your life, your family, your friends, acquaintances, co-workers, your enemies, your burdens, burdens you know of, healing, financial, loneliness, fear, confusion. Pray the Lord hears you and wants to move on your behalf. This is also a time you can just experience His presence. Just sit. You don't have to do anything. Just sit. He is here now. He is present. Know the grace and the peace and the compassion of your Father.
for all those who feel alone, who feel the sting of loneliness, even in the midst of others often. They just feel alone. If you feel alone, if you feel even that God is not near you, I just pray that his presence will envelop you now, that as you leave this time even, that you would see signs of his presence. Oh God, make yourself known. Make your presence known, Holy Spirit. You are here. You are with us always. You never leave us. You never forsake us. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. He is near. You are not alone. music.com slash donate if you'd like to support our mission of providing a place five days a week to experience the presence and the nearness of God. <laughs>